for step three, uh, I talk about the scale fuselage. So I've opened the package. Your kit will come with a nice fiberglass uh, main body. Painted and with stickers applied. Comes with uh, two, a right and a left nacelle, which has the main nacelle cover, the uh, forward nacelle cover, and then also in here is the wingtip, a conversion fairing. There's two of those, a right and a left. Comes with your, your nose piece that has the magnets installed. That fits on the nose and is used for a battery installation and removal. We have a set of windows here and your spinners. Now you should also get in this kit a set of spinner mounts and some extension. And then uh, you also get a hardware pack and it has some plywood pieces in it also and we'll go over that stuff. The first thing I ask you to do in step three is to install the tails. Now, the tails, and it, this is up to you how you want to do it. I mentioned in a previous step that you could use quarter inch plywood to build up these tails for the profile mount model which I would uh, recommend. Uh, now, I'm not going to actually install these tails because I've got to ship this model to a customer, so I, I really don't want to put it together because it just makes shipping very difficult. But a, a couple notes on that. If you're going to bond this stuff together, uh, mark out where it goes and then clean the uh, paint off before you epoxy it together. That'll get you a better joint. Now these newer kits come with screw holes. So on these tails it looks like they the screw here. I'm not gonna do it. I've got to ship this kit off. So it looks like they want you to screw the the verticals onto the horizontals. So that's a nice little improvement that they've made to the kit. Uh, and if you want, you could probably figure out a way to screw the horizontal on also, even though uh, it's pretty easy to glue into. I'm not going to go over that stuff. I'm... And I actually just screwed the verticals on. Now that worked really well. Uh, and then I, I will slide in my tail and I use a, a light pencil and I can mark out the perimeter of uh, where this goes on the scale body and then you can bond it in. Okay, so that fixed that problem now that thing centers up and drops right in without distorting the, the fuselage at all. Looks pretty good. And if I trial fit my nose piece, I'm still getting some resistance for the, the nose piece to sit down low enough to plug in. So something's holding the nose up. So the first thing I like to check is this uh, this tape they put to splice the, the right and the left fuselages together and I can feel a hunk of something here.
got some uh, 50 grit here. So. Pretty aggressive. It's better, but still, still not wanting to go all the way down. The next place I like to look is here for the same thing. Uh, got a big glob of splice tape here. I can feel that's probably going to take a Dremel tool to clean that up. It's really seems to be grounding out right here, just not that uncommon. I'm going to come in here with a, a Dremel tool and try to clean this back some. If you absolutely can't get this thing to fit without tweaking on it too much, you're going to have to cut down uh, the front of your profile fuselage board right in, right in here probably. Or you can also, if your wings aren't setting all the way in the saddles you can actually sand down the bottom of your profile board too to get to lower the whole thing down. And you can just use a gray paint to touch that up. I use uh, the testers. They're flat gray that they sell. And then I use their white the tester is white that you can get it. I got this stuff at Hobby Lobby and then I mix it uh, 10 to 1 so 10 parts uh, white to one part gray and that matches really well. 